Adobe Custom Font Service is one of the best ways to share and give access to Creative Cloud users and team members. All right, let's start by going to the Admin Console Products page and find custom fonts. Here, we can set up a new profile or use the existing profile if we already have one set up. In this case, I want you to see the full process, so I'll click on New Profile. Here, we can add a product profile name. Keep in mind that you can assign multiple fonts to a profile, so it might make sense to name the profile after all the fonts that would be used for a brand or product rather than just the name of the font itself. Okay, once we have added the necessary information, we leave the Notify Users by Email selected and click on Save. We can see that our profile has been added. Perfect. Now we need to set up an admin for this profile, someone who can make sure the right users are assigned and using the fonts. To do that, just click on the profile and then navigate to the Admins tab, and then go to the Add Admin button. Here, we just need to enter in the username or email of the person who will manage this profile and then click Save. Now we are ready to add fonts. Let's go back to the custom fonts and then click on the three dots, then select Add and Manage Custom Fonts. If we needed to, we could select an organization, but for this demo, I'll just leave it as is and click Get Started. Here, I can click on Selected Files and navigate to a location on my system where I can select properly licensed true type and open type font files that aren't over 512 megabytes. Make sure that these are properly licensed to be shared with a team. Once the fonts are added, we can assign users to access these fonts by going back to the Custom Fonts page and selecting Add and Manage Custom Fonts, and then navigate to the Users tab. We'll just add a user really quick by entering in their email and then click Save. We have a profile and a profile admin. We've uploaded fonts and added users. Now, we need to bring everything together with permissions. All we need to do is go to the Permission tab. Along with the fonts I uploaded previously, we have access to other fonts as well. You can see the fonts we just uploaded, and all we need to do is click on this Edit button. This will bring us a window where we can take a closer look at all the fonts we can add to this profile. Once we select the font we want to add for our profile users, we see all of the variations available. And since we want our users to have access to all of the style variations, we'll click on Add All. And if we wanted to, we could add more, but for this example, we can just click Save. Now these users will have access to these fonts once they sign into Creative Cloud. Once the user signs into Creative Cloud, all they need to do to see their assigned custom fonts is to click on Apps on the left-hand side, and then go to Manage Fonts. Under Custom Fonts, we can see that this user has access to the fonts assigned to them. And if the user has already installed the fonts, they will see this green indicator. One more thing to keep in mind is that your users will not be able to add more fonts from this panel. This can only be done by enterprise admins. In some cases, your user might see that the Manage Fonts is grayed out. This is because they might not be assigned a plan. Make sure that every user is assigned a plan, whether it's a free Creative Cloud membership, a single app plan or all apps, or Adobe Express, so they have access to the custom fonts you assign them. Thanks for following along. And please take a look at the resources on this page if you have any other questions.